Hey, Veghead Vic here. In this post, I am going to talk about what you can eat that's vegetarian when you go to McDonald's. I'm not making this video to tell you like, yeah, they're a good vegetarian restaurant. I want to show you the options that you can order there that are meatless. You know, if you're in a situation where your friends or your family or an athletic team or somebody wants to go to McDonald's, there's a lot of options for a vegetarian at breakfast. A vegetarian, by definition, eats eggs. A vegan is somebody who abstains from all animal products, including eggs. So there are choices such as the Egg McMuffin, McGriddles, I love McGriddles, okay? Biscuit sandwiches, burritos, and bagel sandwiches. Unfortunately, these all come with meat on them, so you can just request to have them hold the meat and they'll do that for you. You can try fruit and maple oatmeal. You can get hotcakes, you know, pancakes, and you can get hash browns as a side. As far as like lunch and dinner goes, my best friend in the entire world is the manager at our local McDonald's. And she told me you can order the Big Mac without the burger patties. And it tastes exactly the same. I mean, the whole like shtick of the Big Mac is that it's got like that secret sauce and like that extra bun or something like that. And if you think about it too, the patties seriously are like this thin. You're, you're really not gonna miss it anyway. As far as the salads go, all McDonald's salads um, have like chicken or steak or something like that on them. But McDonald's does have a premium Caesar salad and they have a premium Southwest salad, which has lots of beans on it, which are great for protein. There's also the side salad and the snack size fruit and walnut salad. The walnuts in the fruit and walnut salad will be a great source of nutrients for a vegetarian. If you're looking for something else to fill up your stomach, you can try a milkshake or a strawberry banana smoothie or a wildberry smoothie. They also have fruit and yogurt parfaits, apple dippers with coffee. Ugh, say that five times fast. Jeez, apple dipper. I can't even do it once. Apple dipper, apple dippers with caramel. Apple dipper, apple dippers. I just discovered a new tongue twister. Apple dipples. <laughs> apple dippers with caramel. There, see, I got it that time. Sunday is cones and McFlurries and a baked apple pie for dessert. I wouldn't be able to talk about vegetarian dining at McDonald's without talking about PETA's McCruelty campaign. The People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals is calling McDonald's out on their cruel and outdated slaughter methods in the way that they kill their chicken to be used in their fast food restaurants. The way that McDonald's slaughters their chicken in the U.S. is way outdated and causes a lot of suffering. There's a method called the CAK, which significantly reduces the suffering that chickens experience when they're slaughtered. The European McDonald's chicken suppliers have adopted the CAK method of killing, and yet the US McDonald's refuses to switch over to CAK and holds on to their outdated and cruel methods of slaughter. Even though demanding that their suppliers switch to the CAK method would cost McDonald's absolutely nothing. So please go to mccruelty.com and educate yourself on the way that McDonald's treats their chickens in the U.S. And please write them a letter demanding that they switch over to the more humane method of slaughter. While it might seem hypocritical for a vegetarian to protest for a method of killing, I mean, we're not stupid. We know that people are going to continue to go to McDonald's and that they're going to continue to eat chickens. So if people are going to make that decision, Let's make those chickens suffer less when they're dying. Posted a video about this more humane method of killing on my blog, vegheadvic.blogspot.com, and I will also embed the McCruelty video itself. And they also have a really, really super fun game on there called the Super Chick Sisters. And it's like the Super Mario Brothers, but they're like two little chicks, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Another interesting thing I thought that McDonald's posted is in their like what we're made of section of their website, they have videos about how the quality of their burger is controlled so I was watching it to see if they talk about how their animals are slaughtered or anything and they absolutely do not they just talk about how they process their patties how they ground up the beef things like that but they don't show you how the meats contaminated already by the time it reaches the processing place and they don't show you their cattle are sick and I think it's funny actually at the beginning of their video they show like a little green pasture with like a little like wooden fence and like four cows or something like that as if that's the environment that McDonald's cows are raised in. Okay, first of all, do you really think that raising four cows is going to be efficient enough to feed people who go to eat at McDonald's a day? No. I mean, raising cows in that kind of environment, it would just be stupid for McDonald's. They need high volumes of beef in order to meet the high demand of beef that Americans want. So in order to reduce the suffering, we have to get McDonald's to breed less cows. And the way to do that is to reduce our demand of McDonald's beef patties and any kind of beef patties, really. 
So I hope that you'll think about that. I've had people be like, well, if you don't eat them, what are you gonna do with them? Everything would become overpopulated if you just let them go and you didn't eat them. The point is that we're not trying to like release these animals from the farm or anything like that. We're just trying to stop them being born just so that they can suffer their entire lives because they don't deserve that kind of pain. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video about McDonald's. Uh, hopefully you can find something that's vegetarian and cruelty free and enjoy it.